A scene of deadly violence still in view today at Dawes Hill Park. Police tape marking the spot where two were shot and killed. Around 7.45 last night, three people sitting inside a vehicle were shot. Two of them died of their injuries. One person was taken to hospital. There was probably about... I thought about six shots or what we thought were fireworks. This neighbor was making dinner when the shots rang out. CBC is not identifying her for her protection. She and her husband rushed outside, witnessing suspects making a getaway. I also saw a couple of people fleeing across the park, which we informed the police officers about. The integrated homicide investigation team today naming one of the victims, 25-year-old Raman Salam of Coquitlam, though no photo of Salam released at this time. Of course, it's still preliminary, but we believe that he is associated to the Lower Mainland gang conflict. Investigators still haven't been able to identify the other man who died, though because of Salam's connection to gangs, IHIT believes this shooting was targeted. Police also now investigating a burned vehicle found in the Guilford area of Surrey, though its connection to the double homicide hasn't yet been confirmed. Investigators also offering assurances to the public that there's no ongoing danger. The words, little comfort to those who saw guns drawn in their own backyard last night. There's toddlers and moms in this park all the time and kids walking through to go to school. Um, busy street, obviously, and to be at 745, yeah, it's quite concerning. The incident comes just a day after another violent incident in Coquitlam, an armed robbery that saw multiple members of the public injured. Police say the two incidents don't appear to be connected, but still a worrying few days for the people in the community. Michelle Gassoub, CBC News, Surrey.